Hello from Gama. I am Lakshman Maheshwari and today we are going to talk about pasteurization. Pasteurization is a process that kills microbes, mainly bacteria, in food and drinks such as milk, juice, canned food and others. It is widely used in the dairy industry and other food processing industries to achieve food preservation and food safety. It does so by eliminating pathogenic microbes and lowers microbial numbers to prolong the quality of the food item. The process of pasteurization was invented by French scientist Louis Pasteur in 1864. He discovered that heating beer and wine was enough to kill most of the bacteria that caused spoilage, preventing these beverages from turning sour. The process of heating wine for preservation purposes has been known to China since 1117. There are two approaches to extend the shelf life of food, namely sterilization and pasteurization. Pasteurization does not kill all microorganisms in the food. It aims to reduce the number of viable pathogens so that they are unlikely to cause diseases. On the other hand, sterilization of food eliminates removes, kills or deactivates all forms of life and other biological agents present. It is achieved through various means like heat, chemical, irradiation, high pressure and filtration. It is not commonly used because it adversely affects the taste and quality. Now let us have a look at the commonly used pasteurization methods. High temperature, short time, HTST method, also known as flash method. The food item is forced between metal plates or through pipes heated on the outside by hot water at 72 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds. The food so treated is simply labeled pasteurized. In the low temperature, long time, LTLT method, lower heat is used for longer time to kill pathogenic bacteria. The food is usually heated at 63 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. In the ultra heat treating UHT method, mainly sterilization is done and not pasteurization. This enables storing milk or juice for several months without refrigeration. It is achieved by spraying the milk or juice through a nozzle into a chamber filled with high temperature steam under pressure. The temperature is held at 140 degrees Celsius for 4 seconds and then it is cooled instantly in a vacuum chamber. Subsequently, the food is packed in pre-sterilized airtight containers. The extended shelf life ESL method has a microbial filtration step and it usually uses temperature lower than UHT. In the irradiation pasteurization, foods are subjected to small amount of gamma rays. This effectively controls vegetative bacteria and parasitic foodborne pathogens and increases the storage time of foods. The microwave volumetric heating MVH method is the newest available pasteurization technology. It uses microwaves to heat liquids, suspensions or semi-solids in a continuous flow. It delivers energy evenly and deeply into the whole body of a flowing product. This allows for gentler and shorter heating and almost all heat sensitive substances in the food are preserved. Having seen the methods, let us have a look at the commonly pasteurized products. They are beer, canned food, dairy products, eggs, milk, juices, low alcoholic beverages, syrups, vinegar, water, wines and nuts. This video was brought to you by Gamma IES Classes. Please like, subscribe and share to keep receiving important updates. Thank you and have a good day.